Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law and my law firm assists Dennis with employment contract and independent contractor agreement issues. Uh, today I'm gonna to talk about what is the average cost for malpractice insurance for a dentist. So obviously a number of factors go into how much it costs for a dentist. It's not the same for everyone. Um, and I'm gonna go into all of those factors uh, right now. So uh, the first factor is what type of policy does the dentist use? So um, there are two types of policies utilized by dentists. You either have a claims made policy or an occurrence based policy. A claims made policy means a policy has to be in effect when the claim is made. So let's say you're employed by a dental office as an associate, you leave, there still is time. Most places, it's a, or most states, it's a two year statute limitations on a malpractice claim. So you could be sued a year and a half after you leave an employer. Um, since the, the claims made policy ends when you leave, you need what's called tail insurance that covers the gap in between when you leave the employer um, and then the last day somebody can sue you. So that needs to be factored into the cost. Um, now, uh, to answer the original question, how much does it cost? Well, uh, it is specialty dependent, but a general dentist for the most part uh, will pay around $3,000 a year for malpractice insurance. Uh, an orthodontist or endodontist could be uh, two to two and a half times that for an annual premium, meaning what you pay annually uh, to obtain that insurance. So let's just say you have a $3,000 claims made policy. Tail insurance is around twice what your annual premium is. So you'd have to pay $6,000 to purchase a tail policy when you left the employer, if it was your responsibility for pay for tail. Now an occurrence-based policy is around um, one third more expensive. And, and what an occurrence-based policy does is a policy has to be in effect when the claim actually occurs. So you do not need tail insurance for an occurrence-based policy. So if you did have a $3,000 annual premium for a claims made policy, then you'd have to pay $4,000 for an occurrence-based policy on average, and you wouldn't need tail insurance. Most of the time, uh, an occurrence-based policy uh, is less expensive in the long term for a dentist. Um, if you were gonna stay with a practice for 10 years, for instance, then it, a claims made policy would make more sense. Um, but many times it's a dental associate, you have no control over what type of policy is used. And most dental offices will get claims made insurance and make the dental associate pay for tail because it's cheaper for them. If they're paying one third less per year for insurance and the tail cost responsibility is on the dental associate, it's just cheaper for them. So that's what most dental offices uh, utilize. So that's the first factor. Is it claims made or is it occurrence based? The second factor is where you're geographically located. Um, every state has kind of a different uh, cap on medical malpractice damages. Some states are more friendly uh, for the dentist and others are more friendly to the patient. So you just have to figure out is your state, uh, one of the states that is more supportive of the um, you know, providers, uh, and that will go into how much it costs ultimately. Uh, the third factor is claims history. So if you have had past claims, that will be taken into account when determining what your cost is. Um, obviously those with multiple claims are gonna have a much higher insurance cost per year than those that don't. Uh, and so that's the third factor. And then the last factor is uh, the coverage limits. So um, any policy is going to have, uh, and most policies for a general dentist would be say 1 million per claim and 3 million aggregate, could be less than that. R very rarely would it be more. What that means is the insurance company will pay out a maximum of 1 million per claim and then 3 million annually. So if you have three different claims of policy limits, which would be a million dollars each, they're not gonna pay more than that. Um, so, uh, if you have three malpractice settlements uh, in one year, you're gonna have bigger problems than worrying about what your uh, limits <laughs> or uh, insurance costs are. You can bet your licensing board is going to be investigating what's going on, uh, and it's unlikely you'll be practicing uh, if you have that many claims in that short period of time. So those are the four factors, what type of insurance it is, where you're located geographically, what's your claims history, uh, and then what are the policy limits. 
So as I said before, the average cost for a general dentist could be 3,000. And then as you get into the more kind of surgical specialties, it'll be more than that as well. Uh, it's not prohibitively expensive for a dentist uh, to have malpractice insurance. It's something you certainly need. Um, and uh, who pays for tails, as I said before, is gonna be dictated by the language contained in the employment contract or independent contractor agreement. Uh, it, every policy is employer specific. So this will be the last point that I make. You don't have a general policy that covers you wherever you work. So let's say you're working as an independent contractor for one office, maybe a, a one time a week, and then you're filling in at another office, and this is for a different employer. You're gonna need separate policies if you're responsible for that for each employer. So you don't have just a general policy that covers everything that you do. So keep that in mind if you're working as an independent contractor in a bunch of different places, you're gonna to have to worry about the, you know, what type of policy you purchased and then, um, you know, how much it's gonna cost for each employer as well. So if you have any questions about an employment agreement, independent contractor agreement, malpractice for that matter, uh, feel free to contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description. You can reach us through our website listed below as well. Uh, hopefully that was helpful and uh, appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.